What's up everyone, Carnage here, and let's check out Flippin' Cactus on Xbox. This game is published by No Gravity Games and developed by Rage++. It released on May 11, 2022, for a price of $11.99. There's also a photosensitive epilepsy warning, so if that stuff bothers you, please do not play this game or watch this video. Aside from that, we're going to check out Flippin' Cactus from the very top. This is going to be a first look of the game, I have not played it yet myself. Uh, thanks, big shout out and thanks, by the way, to the publisher, No Gravity Games, for providing me a review copy of this game, that way I can showcase it for you guys. Also wanted to give another shout out uh, to a friend of mine and fellow content creator, Legend of the Star, who streams on the I Dream of Indie channel, and she was streaming this game, and it's pretty cool, so I'm excited to check it out as well. Uh, I think she liked it as well, even though it is a challenging game. Uh, I am honestly going to start on the easiest difficulty, because, not going to lie, from what I saw, it definitely looks uh, pretty challenging. But, uh, you know what? We're going to try anyway uh, to see if achievements work on the easiest difficulty. Why not? Uh, language, we're going to have uh, English, but I show you, I'll show you guys the languages that you can choose from here. So there's a couple languages supported. Uh, and then we have vibration and screen effects options as well. Uh, let's take a look at the controls. We have basic standard controls, it looks like, for the most part. Uh, we have a jump, dash, probably get those abilities later on. I don't know if you start with all of them, but we will find out along the way. So yeah, let's, uh, without further ado, we are going to start the game up from the very top. Relaxed and predictable gameplay. You don't want to challenge. You're here for the story. You're also recommended for beginners. Uh, no hero. Okay, so there's a little bit more challenging. But it doesn't say, it doesn't say anything about disabling achievements, so you know what? We're going to start it off on green. And yeah, I see why they have the photosensitive warning already with all of the screen blur effects. Calaveras Mansion. On a Sunday. I like that it has voice acting. Prologue. Alright, so we can jump with A, move with the left stick. Okay, meet Cactus, who is in a bit of a pickle. But worry not, these tips are here to help you and him. Cactus can destroy a lot of objects and hurt many enemies by shooting thorns. Are you still reading? <laughs> wow, they know me too well. They know I was about to skip all that dialogue, didn't they? Because who wants to read in an action platformer game? Um, ain't no one got time for that. Oh shit, was he an enemy or a teammate? I don't actually know. But you know what? Oh well, rip. <laughs> um... Let's see. Buttons, toggles, and weirdos. Cactus can interact with any highlighted object for use. Uh, for instance, use the stairs or door. Wink. LB. Okay, so that is valid for valid for friendly or just chatty characters. Well, we can't talk to him anymore because we killed him. Um, okay, how about close combat action with a dash move with the B button? Cactus can blast through doors, hammer enemies, and even thump some objects. Now imagine it mixing with shooting. What? <laughs> Alright. Let's wait for him. That dude looks like Luigi for a second. Okay, so X to shoot, B to dash. Uh, right trigger also shoots, actually. I like that. That makes it easier. Um, okay, cool. Now, what is this here? Left bumper will interact with that. It opens something. Uh, first blood. Things will occasionally get stabby and woundy. To restore Cactus's health, bring him close to a water puddle. After all, he is a walking and talking plant. True. Makes sense. So, the water puddle... I gotta say, the water puddle is very hard to see. I am looking very closely at my TV, and that is uh, blending in with the background. So, I know for at least this level... It's going to be hard to see. Maybe other levels will be easier to see those, but uh, I don't know why it's it's that very tricky to see that little water puddle with a blue screen and a blue background. Like, what the hell? That was a weird design choice, but uh, okay. Uh, I do like that you can hold in the right trigger or the X button, so you don't have to spam it to attack. So that's handy. Hopefully those are all enemies that I'm fighting. Uh, and let's see if we could heal again by going to that puddle. 
I mean, it's it's kind of weird because the fact is we it's raining and we're not healing, but yet we walk on the water puddle and then it heals us, so I don't know. Oh shit, well, okay. <laughs> we just died in the tutorial. Um, sick. No, they liked my jump there. Can we talk to this dude? No, we can't. So it was good I killed him earlier, wasn't it? Uh, can I destroy all these things? I wonder if I could obliterate the lights and stuff. Alright, we're gonna go in here and try to knock this guy down. That was cool. A little bit more stealthy this time. And I'm gonna save that water puddle unless we really need it. Uh, I don't know how much it fills. Uh, there is a little knockback recoil as well. Um, we'll, wait for, we'll wait for that guy. Took one hit, not a big deal. So it doesn't reach all the way. You gotta be a little careful here and jump. There we go. But yeah, I do like that they map the shooting to right trigger or the X button. Uh, I like because you can use the A button to jump as you're holding right trigger, so uh, it's a lot more convenient. Uh, and I don't know if you can actually remap the controls. Uh, let's take a look. We have a low checkpoint option, restart section option. Uh, I don't think you can remap them, though. That would be nice in this game, but of course uh, you can go into the Xbox Accessories app and of course remap them from there, but it would be nice to have it in the game itself. So, just a little bit of uh, feedback there. But so far I, I am seeing that uh, this game is something like right up my alley. Very action-packed. A, a little bit stealth, actually, as well, if you want to take your time here like this. Uh, I would be a little careful there. Uh, we can go in there, or we can go that way. I lost a, quite a bit of health there. Can we shoot that water jug? Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, he doesn't have a double jump. Let's see what other things we can do. Have we been over here? Um, yeah, this is where we started, I think. Not exactly sure. Is there a map here? Uh, don't think so. Also, you can't shoot up or, uh, like, side, like, diagonally. It's not, like, Contra in that regard. I was thinking it was gonna be like that. But, that's fine. Uh, ooh, those are traps right there. Oh, we pressed that button. What is that open now? A little bit of backtracking. Can we go down here now? Oh, okay, we turned the light, uh, the light on to open that door or ladder area. Now, I can't tell if that's a trap or if that leads to another area, so... What the hell is this? How the fuck did it all begin? Did we find a donkey or something? What the hell is this thing? You want to know if she's the answer or if it's all just a bunch of burrow crap? You want to know what the deal is with the burrows? It's the obsession with... Shit, that's it. Holy fuck, you should have listened. Okay, focus. It all started like a hundred years ago. No, I don't want to hear your story, dammit. I just want to shoot more shit. Well, <laughs> progress saved. Yeah, this is Hard the prologue work. anyway, so... 1914. Now we're going through a flashback. Actually, it was 70 years ago. 70 years ago? The country was tormented by war, inflamed several years before. But in the fickle moments of calm, Farmers would plant and harvest the, the best agave for the finest Did not expect region. that. Interesting. They would pack the yield and load the burros. Right. Pack the, the yield burros. and load the burros. Right. The burros. Alright. No one is certain people really understood what happened back Okay, then. they are possessed. <laughs> Donkeys My or dogs. something. I don't even know it what kind of animal that, that some is. Animals but they are definitely... Farmers could only by the devil or something like that. Home before nighttime. And then something Ooh, the hell? happened under the moonlight. Something happened under the moonlight. Damn right it did. Something. Uh, we can hold Y to skip the story the if we want to, to, but that's fine. I'm, gonna, next I'm actually enjoying this story since the voice acting. To this did day, not expect it in this we game. We don't know the first thing he saw. But we know that he followed one of the missing burros. And he became a weird, crazy cactus dude. 
Desert. Episode 1. Vamos! Let's go! Back to the roots. Right, this version of Cactus is way more delicate, but you will learn it yourself soon enough. There are a few more tips for getting along with this thorny nature and protecting him on his journey. Oh, we have less health and we don't have our weapon yet? It's one of those tropes where they always start you with, like, badass weapons and abilities, but then they throw it all away and, like, make you start from scratch. Um, but that's fine. Dash like a butterfly. Master the dash. It helps jumping farther, but it also helps you evade melee attacks and even bullets. Uh, okay. And we don't have any weapon yet, so... Best way to effectively cover Cactus's tracks is to disappear into vegetation. So yeah, there is some more stealth elements here, as I expected. Uh, dense thickets would be perfect for reconnecting with nature. Okay, so you're automatically uh, hidden behind there. Like that. Oh yeah, he didn't see anything. <laughs> he didn't see anything, bro. Move on your merry way. Yeah, there we go. A good hat is still a hat. Some interactive items are also wearable and also can be particularly useful for protecting a sensitive green body. But remember, enemies don't appreciate moving objects. Okay, so we can put the hat on with... How do we do that? Oh, we have to stand on top and press LB. Um, how does that help me? What does that actually do? I, I have no idea. <laughs> I just broke the... Broke the hat. <clears throat> But, we'll find out. Uh, that's a checkpoint, apparently, and it fills your health, I believe, just like a water puddle. At least in this level, we could see the damn water puddle. Like, last time it was blue, so... Oh, wow, well, I am apparently blind and can't see a spike pit. <laughs> but, there is a checkpoint as they... What the hell? I jumped over that, no way. Do I have to dash jump or something? Let me see. Okay, I don't know. The jumping there is a little... You have to be really careful from the edge. Um, cactus wouldn't hurt a fly. However, you can use that and some fragile explosive items big time. Okay, so we got our... Wait, never mind. I found quicksand. Um, we got our gun. Quicksand is very hard to see as well. I think it's right here. Let me check. Or was it the next spot? Uh, yeah, it's very tough to see this stuff. Like... Okay, I see the difference now. I, I want to see how, if you can stand on it in a second. So, Mario style, you can walk in it, but you have to jump out quickly. Makes sense. Uh, I don't know if we're hitting these guys. Dude. What the hell? Like, are we not? How am I not hurting them? I don't get it. <laughs> like, we have our gun. Why isn't it working? Um... Unless they don't want us to do that yet. I don't know. So for now, we're not going to worry about it. Let's see. Do they just want us to dodge right now? Like... Okay, well, that's not what we're supposed to do either. Um, we got to shoot that uh, explosive from farther away. But yeah, I don't know what's up with uh, why we can't destroy those enemies right now. Maybe just tutorial, they want us to just see other stuff. Uh, whatever, I'll take a hit there. Uh, take some health. Oh my god, this guy's following me! Shit. <laughs> gotta shoot those things. Oh, we got a checkpoint, though. Uh -huh. But you know what? I wonder if we can get up there. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, is that a spike pit? I'm gonna test... No, we're not gonna test it out. I see it's a spike pit. Okay, we're gonna go past there. Uh, does that guy not mind me now? I wonder. Let me see. No, he still, he still doesn't care. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, that's so weird. I don't know why it's doing that. It doesn't let me kill them. But, anyway. We're in the brush right now. We'll get out of there. I don't think he sees us now. But yeah, they're just teaching us about the... Oh, okay. Got a... Got a uh, healing puddle and a checkpoint. At least they're pretty plentiful with the checkpoints, and uh, it's it's fair about that, even though we are on easy. I don't know if there's as many checkpoints on the harder difficulties, but uh, like I said, even easy in this game, this is going to be a challenging hardcore-style platform, right? I'm here for it. 
Um, even though I just said that, we're probably gonna die. Yep, exactly. But we have the checkpoint there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit to get accustomed. Uh, but I can't wait till we actually can kill them with our gun. I don't know why they, they stopped us from that right now. It's kind of weird. Um, ooh, no, that's not good. That's not good. There's no way I can get through there that quickly. Huh, interesting. We are gonna figure it out, though, guys. Okay, so we gotta shoot that one first as well. And... There... Am I missing something? I, I wonder. I'm gonna take a look again at the controls. Uh, rage, Y button, helper, action. Um, there's also... Dash, which we know. Let's see, left trigger. Nope, that doesn't do anything. I wonder if we could shoot his hat off. No, we can't. Okay, there we go. Now we can now we can get through, at least. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Gotta say, this uh, tutorial is definitely a little challenging even in, in itself, so... Um, once we can shoot these guys, though, they're done for. Like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> hmm. I'm not even gonna worry about that hat, honestly, right now. I just wanna shoot that explosive and get through there. Um, can we dash in midair? I think we can. Probably will get me killed, but, you know. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage right there. I don't know how to get past those guys without, like... Without shooting them, it's tough. I don't know what, what they're trying to tell us here. I want to take that hat. I don't know if we'll need it or something. Oh my goodness, I had one job, to jump over the fucking pit. But that's fine, we'll get it. We will get it. I really wonder if I'm missing anything here, because, like, it's so weird that you can't shoot these guys yet. So... Uh, what? <laughs> okay, there I didn't even jump. Great. I, I will say, the controls... They're mostly okay, but I wish you could jump a little bit further. Like, you gotta jump at the very end of your jump here. At the very end of the ledge. Oh, I went too close to the explosive again. Oh well. Just trying to get to the next checkpoint. Um. Alright, let's be careful here. And take that. Take that. Oh, we can't, we can't take that out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering with that stupid hat. I really don't see how it helps us. Like, maybe I have to press the Y button there? I'm gonna try it. Nope, that's not it. I have no idea, but whatever. We are past that point. Now we gotta be careful. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this is going to be tricky. I could destroy him when he's near that barrel, but... Uh, ooh, he didn't fire. I'm lucky. Okay, wow. <laughs> we made it past the... That section, at least. Got a checkpoint now. Too many cactuses lost. Or cacti. Surprised they don't say that. <laughs> but why... <laughs> Okay, so still tutorial. LB uh, lets you... Burrows may turn Cactus into the Raging Merc you've already met. They do it in their own special, kicky way. Yes, some health will be drained, but so it's up to you. But when needed, an enraged Cactus can be flipped back and forth. Hence the game, Flippin' Cactus. Okay. Interesting. That's gonna kill me if I do it again. Uh, what does that do? Is this, is this letting me kill him? I am so... I am so confused right now. <laughs> like, I don't get it. I, I press this, I have one health. 
Okay, so you can destroy them when you're in this mode, but it's a very risky thing. Interesting. And you can wear many hats, literally. Uh, no, you can in this mode. And when you can't, when you're in the rage mode. Uh, and then you turn back. Okay. So I wonder, if I go back to this thing, it's probably going to kill me. Oh, it doesn't let you when you're at one health. Okay, it makes sense. That is kind of weird. It's like a glass cannon, almost. You're like one hit, but you're very strong. Um, well then, we don't go down there. So, let's see. We're going to try, try the rage mode again. And that doesn't work. Uh, we got to dodge his bullet. Can't just shoot twice. Definitely a very uh, unique mechanics that I haven't seen before. Like, in this way. Uh, oh, that's... that's Yeah, that's not the one of the unique mechanics by dying. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what the hell. I wonder if it's even worth killing that guy there. Okay, let's be careful here. So we have a, a couple more shots of it left. I'm just gonna run across. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> he broke the bridge. I didn't think he was... I thought he was gonna shoot across there, so... I gotta be a little more careful. Or I can go without shooting. But, we're gonna be careful here. So, there's no... Okay, so it's the amount of shots that you do. It doesn't drain that bar unless you... Oh, there we go. That didn't hit him. What the hell? Huh. Okay, so we're going to save some ammo. Try to hit this guy a couple times. There we go. Now we can run across. Hopefully. Yes. And let's see if we can take care of that dude as well. Or should we just run for it, I wonder? I am going to try to wait... And, oh, crap, he knows we're here. Okay. Uh, we just gotta watch out for those gaps now. Oh, I don't like this guy sitting right there. What the hell? He was able to hit me with the shovel from, like, the other floor. I didn't think he could hit me from there. Uh, what if we go the non-violent route and just dash? Let's test it out. Oh, what the hell? Well, that's not really the way to do it, probably, but we're gonna try it. Speed run! It might actually work better. Oh my god. Oh my god. Run! Run! Yes! Fall in the pit! That's just great. Oh, but how are we going to get through here now? I have no idea. Oh, we can break that. We just can't destroy the enemies when we have the... Uh... Okay. I'm going to try to get behind that. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Yeah, no one saw anything. Oh, wow. Wow. Ooh. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I didn't see there was quicksand there. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I, I think we have better luck if we go the stealthy route. Or, well, let me just die here and get him again. Let's try this one more time. The non-aggressive route. It might be easier. Um, but we'll figure it out. We have a little extra hit here now. Hmm. Hey, what? How'd he see me? I didn't think he could see me there. But we only took a hit in there, so... Uh, can we still hit him? Kill him? I don't know. No, I don't think we can kill him now. Shit. <laughs> oh, well. That's not good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I really have to wonder what what route they want us to... I'm going to try the other route again. Very, uh, interesting, though. Hmm. Nope. That's not it. Okay, we took two extra hits there. Well, not... I didn't take a hit, but... Then again, if we take one hit, we're dead. In this, uh, in this mode until we switch back. Oh, I have one hit left. Okay. Hmm. Can we heal anywhere? Don't think so. We have that. But we can't shoot when we have that on. But it does give us an extra uh, hit. Which is helpful. So. 
Yep, there we go, there we go. Oh, I don't know if we can get up there. Oh my goodness. Holy hell. That is, that is crazy. Okay, so if we go this way. Ooh, there's a checkpoint. Hell yeah. Uh, Alright, we're good now, for now at least. We got a checkpoint, full health, and uh, we're moving on. There is quicksand there this time, though. So we got to jump across here. Uh, I don't know if you can make that jump anyway. Hmm. Very suspicious up there what that dude's do. Oh my god. Okay, then. I jumped over it and it still did that. Well, okay. At least we got the checkpoint, though. But, uh, like I said, this is a hardcore platformer, as you can see. Definitely a good challenge, and I, I'm enjoying it, even though... Yeah, the checkpoints are fair enough. I don't mind. Um, we got past that this time without... Ooh! Oh. Can't go over there. I don't know how we're gonna get through here. Oh my goodness, we got it. Holy hell! No, jump, jump, jump! There's a little patch that I could stand on there. Okay, sweet. Um, now this guy's throwing more stuff again. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Jump, jump! <laughs> Run! I can't believe it, we got to another checkpoint. Um, we're gonna try the... the rage mode thing again. We're gonna see if we can get up there. You do have to be careful of the recoil as well. Uh, I wonder if you get health while you're in this mode. Oh, cool! Okay, so that is very helpful. You can get that rage mode and get full health, and uh, you have a lot more... Yeah, a lot more survivabil survivability now, I think. So, we're gonna hit him. We don't have to kill him. We save our ammo. Um, can we take this while we ha- Oh, I guess we didn't find that out. <laughs> um... Oh, crap. Yeah, there we go. So it's a very methodical type of game. You're not running, gunning, blasting everything and shooting everything. You gotta be very careful and think about your uh, every step. So... Oh, like that? I like that. I'll take that. Oh, we just gotta kill that guy when the explosive is near him. If we can. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Haha, gotcha. Okay, so we press this now. And that blew up something on the right. Alright, sweet. We're gonna wait for that fire to disappear. And we don't even need- OH MY GOD! <laughs> we saw blocks falling and I dodged them somehow, I don't know how. Holy hell. I was like, ooh, it's a health puddle, let's walk onto it. And that's a trap. Uh, I see more blocks, by the way. OH MY GOD, I DIDN'T SEE THAT ONE THOUGH! <laughs> this game just trolled me hardcore. Gotta love it. I, I I do love it already, actually. Like, it's not gonna be for everyone. This game might piss people off, but uh, I mean, the developer's name is Rage Plus Plus, so you know you know what you're getting into, right? Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for this dude. Come on, bro. Okay. We'll do that. And I didn't jump. The jumping could be a little bit more um, precise. I, get, I gotta admit that. You can't jump that far. Then again, you are a cactus, but... <laughs> whatever. Oh, what the hell? He came up here. So you can't put the hat on in this mode when you're in the rage mode. That's fine. Okay, that was a cool dash there. And you don't waste... Oh, you do waste uh, your your rage mode when you do that. Okay. But you can use that to dash into enemies, I think. So I'll have to mess with that. Uh, can we get past that without... No, we can't. Okay, how are we going to do this now? We're going to have to be very careful because I can't attack him. Oh! It's Metal Gear Solid style. I didn't know you could interact with that. Okay. Can I still get through? Is the question... Oh, shit. Wait, it doesn't hurt me? Oh, cool. Interesting. Holy hell. Uh, ooh, crap. These are gonna fall, aren't they? Yeah, they are. 
Um, yeah, this is going to be tricky here. How am I going to get through there with... Okay, we got to run. Holy hell. Okay, what's down here? Is that quicksand? I know there's quicksand there somewhere. I thought there was going to be. Okay, sweet. On to the next section. Making progress. Okay, we're gonna go into rage mode again. Try this dash out. Ooh, that was cool. It's a one hit. Uh, it only uses one bar as well, so that's definitely worth it. Okay. Oh, crap. I didn't know if that was gonna hit him. Wait, what? Oh, it did. Okay, oh, we got a checkpoint ready. Sweet. First try checkpoint right there. Well, almost first try, I think. Um, can we jump up there? I feel like there's a secret up there. But we can't quite get to it. Ooh, what's that? To eat or not to eat? That is the question. You've probably noticed something already. Cactus's rage is limited. All those burrows are scarce. But the good news is... Rage sources will find Cactus wherever he goes, so don't be shy to pick up random stuff. LB. So, Chili Pepper. Uh, ooh! Oh, cool! It's like an unlimited, uh, crazy invincibility mode or something. And, um, uh, unlimited firepower, at, uh, for a limited time at least. That was neat. So there's all sorts of different foods and stuff that you can find that will do different things. Uh, like this here, Koa. A tool seems to be popular among locals. Is this how cactuses are made? Alright, what could I do with this, though? It's not actually telling me. Ooh, there's something in that box, though. I wonder. Hmm. I don't know if I should... I'm gonna try to shoot it. Let's wait for it to go over there. Uh, there's something... Ooh, okay. <laughs> Well, that's not ideal. That's definitely not ideal. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do this again. Hell yeah. Oh, except for the one-hit kill from the spikes up there. Gotta be careful. But you do have unlimited uh, ammo for a short time. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Like I said, the jumping is my least favorite part so far. Uh, aside from that, the game is pretty cool and uh, enjoyable, as long as you like challenging platformers and run-and-gun games. Uh, I don't know if we can make that jump now. Oh, we can. All right, we're gonna run, run as much as we can here. Well, let's know if we can get through there. Ooh, we have another chili pepper. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, there was a spike thing above him. I didn't want to rush it, but he got me anyway. So, here we go again. How did I not kill that guy? We have hardly any health. Okay, we do. It's just it doesn't show it when you're in that mode. Alright. So, we'll take the hat. Uh, can we not? Oh, wait, do I still have some shots left? Okay, I do. Hmm. Oh, we got another chili pepper in here. Hell yeah. Let's go. Holy hell, dude. That guy just shot me thing from far away. Um, ooh, I don't know if that's going to blow up the bridge there. Oh, we were at the checkpoint! We were right there! I should have ran to the right. What was I doing? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, man. This is interesting now. I'm learning where the items are. Um, a little bit better. Okay, so we're not in rage mode anymore. I wasted it. Okay. We were going to take that hat... Actually, no, we're not gonna... Well, yeah, we're gonna take it. 
We're gonna shoot that and get this one, and then run all the way over here. Uh, get that, kill this guy over here, and then... There we go. Hell yeah. Hopefully they don't follow us up here. But we got the checkpoint. So now, we gotta think about how we're gonna get past him. Maybe dash past him. Okay, we can do that too. Let's run past everyone. I don't know if we can go in here. No, we can't. Holy hell. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just running. <gasps> no! <laughs> Alright, we had a checkpoint not too long ago. I'll take it. There's probably an item in the left there, but... Not gonna stick around long enough to find that out. Okay. I see how it is. Ooh, can we get through? Yeah! Okay, there's a gap in the bridge here. What to do, what to do. Check this a cutscene, though. Oh, okay, that's the end of that area. Stimulants used. Okay, that's the chili pepper. Yeah, I'm liking all the different power-ups they're introducing and uh, mechanics. Well, Cactus did not expect such well, a warm Cactus welcome. did not expect Yet such fact, a warm he welcome. Had no expectations at all. Reminds me of Plants vs. Zombies, uh, some of the but character he decided designs once that and Cactus for all do. To avoid humans at all costs. Just right. as he thought about that, just as he thought about that, hindered, his journey was hindered by him and the road yeah, by a pit. extended a canyon. And there was only one way to go: the passage through the great the passage through the great mountain, Montaña, as the locals called it. And so, Cactus took the turn toward the core of the unknown, like the bandits right. had done a few hours before that. Oh, okay, After, so the bandits are hanging out the bridge, there. Cutting they blasted the, the bridge, cutting the off the trail of the village. Yeah, the cutscenes are nice and short and have a little voice acting to make it more interesting, but they don't overextend their welcome, thankfully, because I don't want to read all this shit. Like here, sometimes they tell you about new things or uh, gameplay mechanics, and that's fine, too. Uh, well, that's it. Enough with the tips already. By now, you should know enough to help Cactus survive. See, they know me too well already. They don't. They know I want, I want to read anymore. There are still lots of things you can discover on your own. His thorny fate is in your trusted hands now. Good luck. All right. Oh, and there we go. We got our achievement for beating the tutorial. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. Uh, not too much to learn right away. Uh, it is a little different than... What you'd normally expect, though, in like a run-and-gun platformer, there's definitely some stealth mechanics and more, uh, you know, different ways of playing. Some areas you're going to rush through, some areas you have to be methodical, and, uh, see, we can't kill him. I don't think there's any way you can kill him with as many bullets in this mode. You have to be in the other mode. Uh, so we're going to wait until he walks here and run past him. Or not. <laughs> that's fine, though. Oh, shit, that's not fine. Oh, weak. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna wait till he gets close. I don't think that's gonna work. No, it doesn't. It doesn't kill him. It kills me. <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll wait for him. Ooh, that was sneaky. All right, there we go. We got a water uh, jug, but no... Uh, ooh, we can't get over there yet. How do we get over there? They're sneaky. They are mean. <laughs> I don't think we can make that jump. Uh, can we dash jump? I wonder. Oh, maybe we can jump and dash in midair? Let's try that. Hmm. Oh, you can! Okay. You can jump dash there. Cool. It's a little bit tricky to do that. Um, but you gotta, like... Yeah, you gotta press both at the same time. Interesting. See, they don't tell you that, but you have to kind of use your ideas uh, there. Think about it with the little puzzle element to it. 
Um, Alright. We're gonna wait here. Actually, no, we're gonna jump in the box because it's one of those again. I wonder how many hits this thing could take. Although, we want to switch to that. Definitely want to switch to that. I forgot about the recoil. Uh, there is recoil, so you gotta be a little careful about constantly shooting. Oh, there's water that we don't need yet. Can't jump up there yet? I don't know why, but there might be... I feel like there's like a secret to the left there. But it's all good. We're gonna continue on for now. Alright. Um, well, that was dumb. <laughs> uh, we didn't get a check... Oh, it does. that does count as a checkpoint. Nice. I didn't think it was. Let's make him come down this way, though. Oh, that was dumb. Now I can't shoot him. That's fine. That's fine. Why can't we just shoot the explosive? It doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna let him kill me. We're gonna try that part again. Try to get a better strategy going on there. Come on, bro. This way. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You know, oh, you dumbass. Actually, I'm the dumbass. I'm gonna let him kill me. Try to get him over here. I should probably just run past him. But you know what? Oh, what the hell? Alright, whatever. He's done for. Is this a, uh... Oh, yes it is. Well then. So much for that. Okay, we jump down here. I don't know if that does anything. Uh, wait. Now we can't get back up there. Ah, oh well. Yeah, there's no way to uh, really get through there without your... Actually, I wonder if one of those has a uh, chili pepper in it. Hey, what's that over there? Oh, okay. I thought there was something down there. I'm just going to test this out and see if there's a chili pepper in there. Nope. Oh, there is one there. But I couldn't get to it in time. Um, Got to figure out a better strat there. But we know it's in there now, so I like that it's the same. Uh, you know what? That guy can stay there. Not going to worry about him. And if we get that one, we can get the chili pepper. There we go. Press that switch. Blow that up. Blow that up. Oh wait, that blew up this one. We gotta go that way. Oh, we got him just in time. I'm glad we got that guy. Because we didn't fight him before. Ooh. Can't really see where I'm going here. Uh, there's that foreground weird stuff, uh, as you can see. Oh, I don't know what I just found there. Uh, the part of an arachnid you never knew existed. Okay, then. Uh, I don't know what that's for, but okay. Um... We're going to try to kill that bug before we jump down. Oh, I messed that up. Hmm. Going to have to run past there. Oh, that... Oh, shit, there's another one! Damn! Oh, my God. That's tricky right there. Okay, well. Let's see how we're going to do this here. Can that hit him from there? I wonder... Yeah, that was good enough. Take care of him early. That'll kill him. And then this thing we can deal with after. Or I can use this first to get him over here. Um, yeah, we're gonna stand there, actually. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. But, okay. That's fine. Oh, we still have our... Uh, our rage mode left. So if I'm careful about it, uh, we can do that. And get some health back from the process as well. I don't know if we can get over there. I'm just gonna run. Okay, well, that worked better than I expected. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna shoot that one. Get that chili pepper run as fast as we can. Oh crap, they come back? Holy shit. I don't know. Apparently they are coming back. How am I gonna get up there? Huh. Oh, okay. We gotta push this across. I still have two shots for my rage mode as well. Oh! Well, there goes one of them. Uh, and another, another is right there, okay. Uh, that opens up the top right one. Hopefully a checkpoint soon. Uh, I wonder if I can use that box, or is that gone? I think that's gone. Uh, ooh, can we get over there? All right. There is a checkpoint. <laughs> I gotta get that checkpoint. Okay, good. Relief. Ooh. How do I get that one, though? Oh, this is gonna be tough. I can't hit that guy. I, I can't hit... Like, okay. Well. It's not exactly the ideal way, but... Gotta go with it. One of these has to have something. Okay, so there's one of those. Oh, chili pepper! Here we go. Yeah, two and one. That's cool. Alright, let's take that and knock this uh, dude out with a minecart. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Oh shit, I still took damage from it? Oh no. This is not good. Well, we got him. What is that? Oh no! It's a trap! I was like looking at what's on the left there and died by it. Something. I don't like this situation. I'm gonna let him kill me. I'll try this part again. But that is the good part about it. You, uh, you figure out the strategy, trial and error a little bit. Uh, that should kill him. Yeah, there we go. We don't have to worry about him right now. Get that other box here. And then blow up that. And we should be able to do it. Like that. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Shit, that's not good. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna wait this time before dropping down. Um, okay, so what's down there that I would die by? I'm trying to figure out. I gotta use my dash on them. Okay, so I gotta jump across really quick. There we go. Elevator. All right, making our way back up top. Oh, another checkpoint. Okay. Like I said, they are fair about the checkpoints. Um, they, they of course, have you experiment a little about how to figure out different sections and get through them um, carefully. But, uh, you know, trial and error rewards, uh, they, they reward you well, and they give you a fair amount of checkpoints, I believe. So that's nice. Um, but, like I said, still, this game will not be for everyone. If you easily get annoyed at retrying over and over on certain parts, uh, this type of game is not for you, but otherwise, I'm I'm enjoying this. Uh, I I enjoy Super Meat Boy and games like this. You know, hardcore action platformers where if you finally hit that nail, that awesome run, uh, you feel really good about it. So, definitely the type of game they're going for here. And uh, as we say that, we're going to try to get through this weird section. Oh snap! I don't know how we got through all that, but okay, sure. <laughs> Speed run. Can I... Oh, I thought there was something in there. Oh, do we get the... Do we get that dude again, or do we go this way? Uh, I'm wondering what to do. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Uh, we can't go that way. You know what? I'm going to take the chance. We're going to try it. I jumped. I fucking jumped. No way. I got, like I said, the jumping is a little off in this game, but whatever. They 
give you fair checkpoints, so it's not the biggest deal. Like I said, I freaking jumped there. Uh, how far do I have to jump, like, across the edge? Like, there it's not fur further enough, far enough, so... Yeah, I do wish you could jump just a little bit further. Like, it's, it's not registering the jump, like... That's really my main complaint right now. I mean, most of the controls feel what feel good, but when you gotta jump a big pit, it's definitely a little weird. Like, okay. All right, there we go. Oh, you can't jump on his dead body. You can't just like stand on his corpse. Come on now. I guess I could do a dash jump as well, but. Here we go. We're going to try to make a big jump. Oh my goodness. There's something there that I got to figure out. Like, what am I doing wrong there? Okay, so we do have to do the dash jump. Well, you don't have to, but it helps. So that's probably what, what we got to do there. Move back this way with those fall. Okay, here we go. Dash jump time. Okay, much better. So, to be fair, at least you have that. Now this guy, we have to wait for him to turn this way and dash him. And keep an eye out for any falling blocks and more stuff. I know they're, they're gonna throw it at me. Any second now. What? No way. No way. But, at least that's a checkpoint right there. Oh, what the hell? I, I forgot to do the dash jump. Oh, man. That's fine. It's a little weird using A and B at the same time like that. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to do that. I do like that the dash instant kills them. And we can also get more energy back from that by standing in the water. Hell yeah. Now we gotta be careful. I'm gonna use my two last shots on him. I think that was it. Oh, what the hell? Uh, can we shoot that guy? Or we shoot that thing? I don't want to die by it. Oh, we wasted the other thing, though. We gotta be careful. Okay, that's fine. Here we go. Run! Run! Hell yeah! There we go! Sweet! Progress saved! El Camino. That was that section. Tracks some stats there. But yeah, I'm enjoying this game. It's definitely not, like I said, for everyone. Uh, if you get easily annoyed at um, trial and error type of games or like, you know, hardcore platformer stuff it might not be for you but i know a lot of people like myself who enjoy these kind of experiences where at least they're fair about the checkpoints and there are three difficulty levels this is the easiest so just imagine how it's going to be on the hardest difficulty uh but uh we're going to take a we're going to stop right there but i might be uh, streaming this more in the future as well of course this video is going up on youtube but i also stream on my twitch channel uh here and there so check it out on twitch.tv slash k-a-r-n-a-g-e um, but yeah, we're gonna check out the achievements as well. Uh, I did get one only so far, just for beating the tutorial. Uh, but there's a lot here. Now the real game begins, finish part one. Some secret achievements, finish the game. Uh, kill ten enemies with reflected bullets. So there's some new mechanics they're still adding in later on, of course. Uh, finish rave without dying. Holy hell. So there's some beating the, uh, certain levels without dying. Uh, kill twenty enemies with a door. Probably have to dash through the door to do that. Kill 20 enemies with fire thorns. Uh, endure 50 burrow kicks. Destroy 10 vehicles. Kill 300 cartel thugs. I don't know if those are just regular enemies, but we'll find out. Uh, finish the game on hardcore difficulty. Okay, there we go. You have to play on the hardest difficulty if you want to get that one. Uh, finish the game on no chance difficulty. I actually wonder if that is stackable. If you do it on hardcore, if you could get all of the achievements for difficulty. Uh, if you're doing it on just the hardest one, you may as well be able to get this one, but I'm not sure. Uh, also, I noticed there is a slight typo in that difficulty. I guess they had a little difficulty with that word, <laughs> but that's all good. Uh, the game itself is awesome. I'm enjoying it. Uh, 
So kudos to the devs and publisher on this one. Thanks again for the review copy once again. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content coming very soon. And yeah, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.